Hello and welcome to another update video about SEI. Say, say continues to chop around a little bit. Um, so a dip into the yellow previously communicated support area earlier today. We had a little bit of a sell off there. Um, Bitcoin has come down a bit, has basically in the vortex dragged, dragged a lot of other coins down. I have to say though, this was by far not yet strong enough to confirm that a much larger correction is unfolding. Bitcoin did hold all its support regions and, and support levels. And also say, for example, is holding support. Yeah. So a little bit further sell off. But anyway, in yesterday's update, I already highlighted to you that the rally after touching the, the support region for the first time was only a three wave structure. So honestly, the move down, technically speaking, this wave two might have completed this correction. Yeah, a bit too early to say, of course, you know, um, but this could have been an A wave. The move up, a very clear three wave move in a B wave. The move down, possibly a C wave. Possible. Yeah, it's definitely a three wave move down. And what can we often say that an A wave has roughly the same length as the C wave or basically the other way around because the A wave happens first. So what we can do to check that we take the length of the A wave, we go to the high of the B wave and like magic, the 100% extension level reached at 79.9 cents. Um, probably a coincidence. <laughs> no, but it, you know, it's, it's, the same length, wave C and A, great proportion. And that could that could mean the C wave has bottomed. Uh, obviously, or the wave two has bottomed with the completion of wave C. Obviously, a little bit too early to confirm that really, but it's worth watching it because then a third wave to the upside now could take the price higher and we might see a break above the B wave high, that would be a first indication that a low has formed. That's a break above the 96.1 cent level. And a break above the 96.1 cent level could then lead to a third wave rally or would at least suggest that, confirm that this is unfolding. However, we would also need to see a break above the descending trend line and a break above the wave one high. They are all very close together. I mean, the wave one high was here at around 98 cents and then it can take off. Um, if it follows through successfully, then the third wave, let's just double check that, the third wave there in yellow should reach based on the current price data, should reach the $1.42 level minimally in wave three, minimum, ideally $1.53 plus. So this setup provided a really good um, yeah, reward to risk ratio. And basically all we need to do now is to see if the price can follow through and break above this B wave high. Now, what is if we come down a little further? Well, that would not be a disaster. I mean, this wave two can technically stretch out, extend, as long as we're holding the 67.7 cent level, there isn't really anything let's say that would um, make me consider that this scenario has to change only below 67.7 cents, which is the 78.6 retracement level of the initial move up that I have labeled as wave one in yellow. Only a break below that would suggest that we are going to see invalidation. The invalidation point is the beginning of wave one. So that's down here at 60.8 cents. And that's the formal invalidation point. A break below the yellow support line is, well, it's a warning. You know, it's an indication that things are starting to break down. But really, the confirmation is a break below the beginning of the wave one. But what does that mean? I mean, if that happens, yeah, the one two setup is invalidated. But we are probably just dipping back into the support region and wave four is resetting. And the lower support region is then for the wave four reset. And the support is between 63.5 and 51.9 cents. That means only below 51.9 cents, this chart is probably getting a bit bearish. Until then, this is a bullish range. We are holding above support. The further away we move from support, the better, um, you know, um, the, the higher the profit for anybody who, who wants to sell, get a scale out of positions. And as we're heading into support regions, I think it can be quite useful to add positions. This chart is a bit messy, yes. 
but it's ranging. It's great for range traders, you know, buying close to support. Support is very well defined, has been respected for more than, I mean, one second, has been respected well since, since early January, basically. Huh? So quite a long time. And we had February, March, and yeah, basically two and a half months, you could say, of a, a time period in which this support region down there um, has been respected by the market. So that means, you know, as the price gets to this support area, it might provi provide a buying opportunity in this range. And as we get further away, it might provide a selling opportunity, take profit opportunity. Yeah, that's my update about Say. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.